Hello, good morning everyone. Today is Sunday the 26th. Hope I get this uploaded on Monday. I'm finally finished. This is my Frank Garcia 31 collection 8x8 mini album. And I absolutely love it. I don't know why, but I'm loving Halloween more and more. So here we go. I um, mounted this sheet on this um, glitter tape. That's glitter tape around him surrounding this and um, I'll get up close so you could see some of the flowers these are flowers from the collection and then I use those little cute baubles um, that you could also buy in the collection the pumpkins I think I have three of them there and then I also added this spider and then this is um, a bat die from recollections this is glitter in the back it's a glitter paper see that right there and then there's, you know, it moves because it's, you know, a, a shaker. And then I've got some of the pieces from the collection, the cat face, um, the card. Um, the ghost is um, a piece of veneer that was from the dollar store that I painted last um, Halloween, but didn't actually use it. So um, here it is. I put a bow on her and I also put a bat on the bow. And then some of this goodness on her. Um, you know what? I didn't mean to put the heart right there. It must have just fallen with somewhere else. So it goes like that. Um, and then what else did I do here? I added the October 31 stickle and I added a little doodad to her. And um, I actually took this idea from someone on YouTube that had done a roller decks card that looked similar to this, but they used um, they used some tool, and I didn't have any, so I used a couple of these. It's like ribbon, but it looks kind of like that, you know, crisscross stuff. And you can see the tool down there, just to you can see it here, just to add some dimension. And I added spider webs, and then here we go. Every once in a while, I added jewels, like I believe she did. Um, on her Rolodex card so a little bit the same and a little bit different but um, the same concept she used straws and so I use straws to mount the bat the bats on straws I don't know if you could see that in there but it is on it is on straws to give it this height and then of course the beautiful flowers so now on to the inside I'm going to use the tape to kind of hold it. So I did some sheets plain because they're so pretty and so that we can put regular large photos in it. So this is from the collection. All the papers from the collection. Didn't use any paper from anywhere else. I had the ribbon. Um, so this is a pocket here. And then we have this. And it opens like this. And there's another pocket there. And I use ribbon there, lace rather, and it's in the shape of witches. Um, so I've got a pocket here. And then um, this opens up like this, like doors. So I've got all that real estate there for photos. I'm hoping I did Frank Garcia proud. I absolutely love his style. So here's this, and here's these pages. One, two, and three, and then another a flip here. It's not a pocket, it's a flip. There we go. So there we go there, then this. I absolutely love this collection. I love the little bits of blue. I love the pastel. I never thought I would. I did put ribbon on all of them. Some of them, you know, I don't want to take away from these beautiful, um, you know, artwork on this isn't it beautiful? And then it's got, you know, the flecks of gold. And so I didn't want to cover their heads. And anyway, it's I mounted it anyway, so it's already got an edge. But that's that one. It's this one. So I didn't use ribbon on every single one. And then these are mirror pages. You know, Frank always does mirror pages. So here's mirror pages. And then they're actually pockets on top, both of them. So you could add a lot of goodies in there. And then this is also a pocket here. Of course, I didn't want to add ribbon because it would be too close. So this is fine. And then I use these 
um, cutouts from the 12 by 12 paper that I thought absolutely cool. And then um, this ghost page, just the ghost page, didn't add anything else to it. And then this one, of course it has its own edge, so I didn't add anything to it, but I may. I may go back and add some ribbon to that one, I'm not sure. Anyway, here's this page, and this is a lot of real estate here. So I try to do one page simple, one a little bit more complicated. Here's this one, and this one that come up like this, straight up. And then there's this one, that's one, two, three. I would have done a waterfall, but I didn't have paper that went that way that I wanted to, to use. And then it opens again, right here, to reveal this. So. Lots of room for photos in this album. And this is, of course, using Frank Garcia's Memory Hardware book. I, oops, I scuffed it right here, but just painted it with black um, gesso. And then this, isn't this pretty? The ghosties, and then that says boo all the way across. Isn't that cute? Got that paper, I mean, got this lace, and it opens up here. And then I use this, the pumpkins, of course, for the back page. Isn't that beautiful? And so this is it. Look at all the dimension this thing has. There, there it is. There you can see the straws. Might have could used could have used more straws, but I absolutely love it. I'm just gonna sit here and look at it. I've got little crystals every now and then in there. I was going to use buttons, like some of these empty spaces. So I, I took out all my orange and pink and whatever buttons. I was going to use buttons, and then I was going to thread the holes in gold to give it some sparkle. And I was all prepared to do that. And then I thought, nah, it's a little bit too much. Um, and then my husband said, use the, the spider ring. So, of course, I cut the ring part off and stuck the spider in there. Because, you know, it's on webs. There's a lot of webs there. And then, of course, these little pumpkins are so beautiful. Anyway, that's it. I wanted to show you the spine. The spine, I do want to dangle something from it. I need to buy something because I'm not the greatest at it, but I do have his little posts, Frank Garcia's, and all different, you know, silver, gold, whatever. I have them all. So um, I do want to add something dangly from the spine um, and then um, add uh, maybe Halloween 2021 and I had a lot of cutouts because I had a lot of ideas so you know I have a lot of these that I could you know print on anyway thank you for joining me and one important thing this is a plug for this art glitter glue I mean I don't own a store or anything but this is good for both the fabric and everything on here the only thing is I used a glue gun for the flowers because I wanted them on there tight. So I do have my handy dandy glue gun there. But everything else, even the fabric. So, the, you know, I have Fabri-Tac, um, but um, I'm, it's too messy. But this, I found, is very good. I do have that little thing in there that prohibits it from plugging, but it plugged with it. So now I use it without, and I just have, you know, straight pins nearby when I need to use it. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Here's an overview of this again. Let me hold it up so you can see how pretty that front page is. There it is. And now I'm going to go on to um, make an 8x8 using uh, Midnight Tales. But for that, I'm going to make my own book because I ran out of the Frank Garcia one. So I'm going to make my own book on that one. But isn't this pretty? I absolutely love it. Thank you. Bye.